It's a horizon of new homes, streets, and shopping malls. And in the middle of it all, right here, one farm remains. Hi, I'm Paul Ryan, and welcome to America's Heartland. Now, chances are there's a view like this where you live. A few acres at a time, America's farms and ranches are giving way to the needs of a growing population. In recent years, that loss has added up to more than 2 million acres per year. As farmland gives way to highways, housing, and manufacturing, some worry that America may someday not be able to produce enough food for our needs and the world's. Add to that, the loss of farmland hampers efforts to improve air quality and contain energy costs. And for those who make their living in agriculture, the declining number of farms means fewer opportunities for employment. This is the Winter Ranch in California, just 10 minutes from downtown Sacramento. The reason it survived, decades ago, it found a lucky spot on the National Register of Historic Places. But not so some of the great family ranches of nearby Nevada. Where property is measured in the tens of thousands of acres, the pressure to sell there can be enormous. It can pull a family together or threaten to tear them apart. Pat McConaughey found that out in a place named Gardnerville. So all we got to do is give this pink eye and the copper. Russell Scassa is inoculating and branding cattle on his ranch in northern Nevada. We breed them. They have a calf. We raise these calves to somewhere between five and 600 pounds, and then they're sold. And it depends on the year. Last year, they went to Nebraska to a feedlot. Russell's family has worked this land since 1885, generations of ranchers who cleared the valley and raised cattle. But Russell is one of many ranchers in Nevada and other western states whose lifestyle is changing because of economic realities. The controversy over federal grazing land is one reason, but development for many ranchers and farmers is the big issue as the city moves out to meet the country. Up before this influx of people, there was eight families that lived here, and we couldn't, from right here, we couldn't see the neighbors' houses. And now you can just see quite a few houses around. Scoss's ranch is in Douglas County in the Carson Valley, just south of Reno, an area whose population has soared more than 60% in the past 15 years. More and more housing developers have been buying up land from ranchers, some of whom are land rich, but cash poor. Nevada is one of the fastest growing states in the country, and the demand for land plays a significant role in Nevada's agricultural picture. In 1993, Nevada had some 9.5 million acres in ranch and farmland. By 2005, that figure had declined to 6.3 million acres. This would be the eastern edge of the existing ranch now, this fence line. And it ran from where we are here clear up to those first uh, low hills there. That Devere Dressler is a fifth generation rancher in the Carson Valley. Driving the back roads with his son, Garrett, Devere remembers when the family had significant holdings. My great-grandfather, and he amassed a pretty good piece of ground. At one time, it was in excess of 70,000 acres. But bit by bit, the ranch size diminished as land was sold to pay taxes, and family members divided up what remained. New development has sprung up on some of that land, changing the look and feel of the valley. Well, there's a lot of people coming into the valley that are looking for a different lifestyle, they're trying to escape the cities, and it's slowly eroding our culture, our culture is disappearing, the, the old ranching way of life. All right, here's the view. You can see the ranch over the ridge. You can see part of the ranchos and uh, the pit and a couple of water towers. Devere's son Garrett wants to be a rancher like his dad. He knows why he likes the valley the way it was. Clean air, open spaces. I got a nice place to ride my bike without getting run over, to ride my horse and run around with a dog. Come on, G. We got to get going. Supper's awaiting. Devere looked at a number of ways to keep his ranch intact but ultimately put the land up for sale, along with his cattle. Since we don't have any cattle anymore. I had some cattle and Garrett, Garrett had some cattle. We had some cattle together, but we've since sold them since we're going to move on. 
So far, Russell Scassa has resisted efforts to sell his property, choosing instead to investigate a conservation easement. In effect, continuing to own and manage the land, but giving up development rights for certain financial advantages. Land trusts in many parts of the country encourage the easements as one way to protect rural land. Very simplistically, it means that you wouldn't turn it into a subdivision. You would keep it ranch land, which would mean it would be open. And that's important to Russell. He points to water resources, saying that farmers and ranchers provide important habitats for deer, coyote, and butterflies, as well as wetlands that benefit animals and man. As long as we irrigate this ground, we're recharging the groundwater. And that's providing the water that all these people's wells are coming from. If this ceased to be a ranch and the water's taken somewhere else, you're going to lose a lot of the groundwater out of the ranch. Without active measures to preserve farm and ranch land, encroaching development looks to be an ongoing issue in many parts of the country. But Russell and DeVere hope to stay in ranching. Russell, here in Carson Valley, and DeVere with a new start somewhere else. And it's a good way of life. It's comfortable. And and I enjoy it. It's, it's kind of, I, I kind of think of myself as a guardian of the, of the range, so to speak, to take care of not only the, the land, but the critters that live on it. As long as you're making a living every day and it's not driving you crazy, as long as we can keep surviving, we're going to try.